Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 12, verse 49, 50, and 51 is our reading today. I came to send fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how distressed I am till it is accomplished. Do you suppose that I came to give peace on earth? I tell you, not at all, but rather division. Now, this is kind of an unexpected uh, thing, right? Because, hey, it all paths lead to God. Everything's fine. Every religion ends up in the same place. You know, don't worry about it. But what we find here, you know, Jesus, he's the Prince of Peace. He just wants us all to get along. And here we find that Jesus himself tells us, I came to divide. I came to divide? What? But this is the teaching of Jesus. I came to send fire on the earth. He came to, to bring judgment. Uh, wait a minute, you know, are we, are we missing something? No, we're not missing anything at all. Jesus is telling us that the truth divides. The truth divides. Are we men and women of truth? Or are we just sort of coasting, coasting along? And, and as long as it's convenient to be a Christian, yeah, hey, I, I'm coming. I'm, I'm with you. Is that all we are? Jesus is calling for more than that. He's calling for our heart. And so Jesus came to send fire on the earth. He wishes it was already over. He has an experience. He wishes it was accomplished. He has an experience still to endure. He's going to endure uh, total, total uh, abandonment in Gethsemane. And he's going to do that for you and I. But he says, do you suppose that I came to give peace on earth? Most people say, oh yeah, Jesus, Prince of Peace. Hey, hey warm and fuzzy. But he says, no. Uh, not at all, but rather division, because Jesus came to sustain an unselfish kingdom, and all around us is selfishness, selfishness, self-servingness is all trying to get in. God's kingdom is inside out, upside down is totally different, and so it's very different. And so, yes, Jesus came to divide. He says, I came. He says, I came to send fire on the earth. So Jesus wants us to get over into that unselfish kingdom, everything that we're doing along the way, kind of loitering and taking the long route so that we can get more French fries, you know, the, that is slowing down the purposes of God. He has a bigger and better plan. So don't think that being a follower of Jesus means it's coasting all the way to the kingdom. No, there is going to be division. And if you're going to be a follower of Jesus, you don't have to be mean-spirited about it, but you need to be faithful to him. And as we're faithful to him, he'll take us through step by step all the things we need to do. It's going to be okay, but it's going to be more intense and very few people really have signed up for the intensity of the Christian experience, which I believe is, is very soon to increase in the world. So are we ready? Are we ready for the things that are coming? Are we ready for where we'll be in three months and six months and nine months from today on planet Earth? Let's pray about it. Father in heaven, Jesus himself tells us through his own lips that he came to bring fire on the earth. He came to divide. So Lord, that means that Jesus came to test even my heart. I pray, Lord, you'll help me to give all of my heart, all of it over to you, to your kingdom, and that I'll stand on the side with Jesus in the great division that comes, that I won't be against your kingdom, but that I'll be for your kingdom. Please, may this prayer be true for each one, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Friend, it sounds, you know, kind of intimidating, but it shouldn't be. He loves us. He's for us. It's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So as he comes and as there are divisions, let's stand faithfully with the Son of Man, with Jesus. His blessings be upon you and your family today.